Hello everyone, welcome to Ante Visits. In today's video, we'll be discussing some of the most disturbing movies ever. Mother, easily the most divisive movie of 2017, Mother is really a kind of litmus test for who you should be hanging out with. The movie plays like an Aronofsky fever dream as you watch Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem take an allegorical trip through feminism. Christianity and the environment that culminates in one of the most anxiety-induced final acts in cinema history. It's a disturbing movie particularly for women and the way anyone feels about it tells you more about the person than the actual movie. Martyrs Martyrs is essentially two movies in one and neither one is recommended for the squeamish. Before the hard R-rated shocker takes a sharp left turn at its midway point, Martyrs rests gruesomely in home invasion territory with Clive Parker-like supernatural elements mixed in for good measure. But then, New Gear's script veers into existential slow-burning dread and wants it all over. Martyrs asks heavy questions about the afterlife and almost provides some answers with skinning of course sins of the earth and transcend their very being. Geralt's Game It was great and all, but Geralt's Game was the best Stephen King adaptation released in 2017. It's a downright disturbing premise, precisely because it doesn't indulge in the cannibals or demons or viscerals, violent sex scenes that the other movie on this list do. Instead, the film follows a couple in the last three hours of marriage attempts to spice things up in the bedroom and the result is a master lesson in suspense. A fatal dose of Viagra later and Jesse the wife is handcuffed to the bed and must escape from beneath the limp body of her husband Gerald. Let's just say it gets gory. It's time to wake up. The killing of a sacred deer. The killing of a sacred deer is unlike the other movies most notably because it lacks any of the truly maniacal body horrors that constitutes most of the other entries. The disturbing elements in the slow burn psychological thriller are far more complex. Colin Farrell stars as a famed cardiovascular surgeon whose calm, predictable life is shattered when he becomes close to a petrified young teenager who is out to ruin the doctor's life for a mistake he made in the past. Kyogen injects very real fear in an otherwise mundane scene of him eating spaghetti as he tells Nicole Kidman, who plays Farrell's wife, about his dead father. The chilling performance exemplifies the film's tense, complex atmosphere. An anesthesiologist can kill a patient. Henry, portrait of a serial killer. Loosely based on the life of Henry Lee Lucas, Henry, portrait of a serial killer, is a crime thriller that follows the exploits of a crazed killer played by Michael Rooker. During the film, Henry befriends a fellow prisoner named Otis and the two go about a savage rampage on random killings with little rumors of any kind of their crimes. What this movie does to separate itself from other civil clear dramas is that it never really focuses on cops or an investigation. Instead, we are stuck in the killer's head in the whole time. All the time Which one is your favorite among all? Do share in the comment section. Thank you so much.